This video is sponsored by AFK Journey, enabling Did You Know Gaming to donate $10,000 to video game history preservation. AFK Journey is an ethereal fantasy RPG that unfolds across a vast world, and is the successor to AFK Arena. In 2021, the original team behind AFK Arena wanted to provide new content and a new kind of gameplay experience to their players. However, they knew making big changes to a well-established title like AFK Arena might impact the existing community. So they decided they'd develop a new title entirely, and so they established a new team to create it, the AFK Journey team. This team started out with around 30 staff, who were tasked with the planning of a sequel within the AFK IP. Lilith Games had observed that players didn't have much to do after reaching the later stages of AFK Arena. They also realized that players largely enjoyed the dungeon exploration gameplay found in AFK Arena's Peaks of Time mode. So the team chose this as the starting point for AFK Journey's gameplay, allowing players to explore the dungeon any time. This led to the concept of a Vast World RPG. The team also wanted any new game in the series to have a long shelf life, and came up with the idea of adding new seasonal stories that would keep players coming back. This would also allow new players to play through any new season without being left behind. Seasons are four months total, and each season brings new characters, updated maps, and a new story. These aren't the only lessons the team learned from AFK Arena. One social feature introduced in AFK Arena was the Guild vs. Environment dungeon. The feature was well received and kept players active, but it was introduced so late into AFK Arena's life that most players never got to experience it. Through discussions with other development teams that specialized in long-running games, the team discovered that most games found success by having a core group of social active players. Based on these considerations, the AFK Journey team chose three pillars for the project to focus on, the season system, a vast world, and social features. During the game's almost three-year development period, the team encountered many challenges. One thing the team initially struggled with was switching a series' systems from 2D to 3D. This may sound like a simple task, but for a team with no experience in 3D development, it proved to be difficult. The AFK Journey team told us, Going from 2D battle to 3D battle means we needed to remake and redesign every character. To ensure that the new art style met expectations, we spent six months building an entirely new 3D art pipeline. The art style in AFK Arena had a stained glass painting aesthetic, inspired by the colorful stained glass windows found in churches. To adapt this style into 3D for AFK Journey, the creative team conducted multiple rounds of testing with various art styles, but still preserved the features of stained glass art, like clean line art and large blocks of color. After careful consideration, the art team ultimately went with the style seen in the final game. This wasn't the only difficulty the developers faced. The team made numerous attempts to strike a balance between the game's vast world exploration and RPG battles. At first, the two mechanics were highly integrated, with idle gameplay and story progression intertwined. However, during testing, they found that players became confused and didn't fully understand the gameplay. So the team decided to completely separate the world and battles into two separate modes. But this just created more problems. After six months of testing and user research, the team managed to address the issue. The solution wasn't to struggle combining the two mechanics or restrict player behavior, but rather to establish a clear and unified goal within the game. By suggesting that players focus on concrete concepts like getting powerful in the game, not only did the team reduce the disparities in understanding between players, but they also increased player retention in-game. The AFK Journey team told us, Developing a game is like creating a complex machine. Any minor adjustment or attempt at imitation and replication doesn't guarantee success. It requires investing significant time and effort into deeply understanding the underlying principles. As responsible developers, we must analyze and understand why a new mechanism works in other games but fails in our own. Another challenge came about two years into development, when the creative team decided to completely overhaul the existing storyline and narrative. 
In order to enhance players' immersion and engagement, a new story was developed that took advantage of cinematic and literary elements. This new direction aimed to better integrate missions and exploration of the vast world of Esperia in the early stages of the game. It also put a clearer focus on character development, which thematically fit with the game's RPG progression mechanics. The storyline sees the protagonist exploring all different regions of Esperia. In the developer's words, all story threads follow the main theme of Merlin reclaiming the Excalibur to lead others through the mist to uncover the truth. They added that when you open the game and see your character running with a series of companions behind you, you will realize that AFK Journey is essentially a story about companionship. As we mentioned before, the game's story comes in waves called seasons. This was actually done to address an issue the team observed not only with their own games, but in the games of other mobile developers. The team told us, traditional mobile games tend to experience a decline in popularity after a period of operation, due to the accumulation of content and issues like repetitive gameplay experiences. This makes achieving a timeless status for RPG games seem out of reach. Our solution to this was introducing a seasonal system. Many features in the final game were a challenge to implement, but some features have yet to be realized at all. The team told us that they considered adding a set of casual minigames to AFK Journey to enrich the player experience, but this idea never came to be. The team said, We took into account the possibility of contradicting the main gameplay and the fact that it may not necessarily align with the attributes of our game's user base. We haven't found a suitable integration point for these minigames at the moment, therefore we've temporarily put this idea on hold. We always believe that all gameplay features and functions should undergo careful consideration and thorough research before implementation. The team understands that launching a popular new game isn't easy and takes risks. They see the world of Vesperia becoming a lively place in the future. AFK Journey lets you adventure with your companions, embracing other players you encounter along the way, or wander off on your own into a deep forest. You can choose your way to feel Vesperia. Players can gather with the heroes they draw from cards, friends from their guild, or even strangers to engage in meaningful activities. Over AFK Arena, AFK Journey has more content, more levels, interactive storylines, and more side gameplay options, as well as more frequent updates every four months, bringing a new season of new characters, updated maps, and a new story. If you liked what you heard today, check out the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to play AFK Journey for free on both PC via the official website and on mobile via the iOS App Store and Google Play Store. If you use our CD key AFK Journey 88, you'll get 100 diamonds and 18,888 golden coins too. AFK Journey are also giving away more than 40 heroes of all kinds, including epic heroes, for free, allowing players to experience a full range of combat strategies at no extra cost. And by logging in for 7 days and participating in various events, players can get over 200 card draws for free. Thanks again to AFK Journey for sponsoring this video, enabling Did You Know Gaming to donate $10,000 to video game history preservation. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.